if covering one's head during salah or sunnah or a culture first we'll discuss whether covering the head is sunnah or a culture and then come to covering the head in salah there is a verse in the quran in surah araf chapter number 7 verse number 31 which says that o children of adam take your adornments for every time and place of prayer telling to the money adam that take your adornments your beautiful apparels at the time of prayer and the place of prayer this is the only reference you get regarding the clothes of prayer in the quran as far as whether covering the head is a sunnah or a culture there are different opinions some group of scholars they say that covering the head is a sunnah some group of scholars say it's only culture but all the scholars unanimously agree that if it is in the culture that covering the head is respectful then the Muslims should cover the head but if it is not considered as respectful in the society like Western society it may not be that respectful covering the head so then if you don't cover it's okay but in India, Pakistan, in the eastern part of the world, in Malaysia, Indonesia it is respectful to cover that so at that time it is better than to cover that so the scholars are divided whether it is a sunnah or not but according to Nasruddin al-Mani Sheikh Nasruddin al-Mani he says that it is sunnah to cover your head and the Prophet and the Sahabas covered that Sheikh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah he said the Sahabas always covered the head the Prophet covered the head so it is not from the Sahaba to uncover your head so according to Sheikh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah covering the head is a sunnah even according to Ibn Qayyum he says that the Prophet wore the turban without the cap he wore the cap without the turban and you find several hadith we say that the Prophet wore a turban the Prophet wore a black turban the Prophet wore a hoofy the Prophet wore a cap the Prophet wore a white cap there are seven hadith so based on these hadith this group of scholars say that covering the head is sunnah it is from the salaf from the salaf it is that we should cover the head so according to Sheikh Nasr Darbani, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Qayyum may Allah have mercy on them all it is sunnah to cover the head as far as I am concerned also I believe that covering the head is sunnah irrespective whether you are in the eastern part of the world or whether in the western part of the world since the prophet covered the head since the salaf covered the head I believe in those group of scholars that say that covering the head is sunnah. Regarding the question of covering the head during salah, is it sunnah or is it a culture? As far as covering the head is concerned, there is no proof, no hadith, no Quranic verse that it is fun to cover the head during salah. So it is very clear cut that covering the head is not a fard while offering salah. It's not a requirement. But those scholars who believe that covering the head generally is a sunnah they also say that covering the head is mustab during salah imagine if a person comes from the western part of the world and he wants to be a imam in india or pakistan and he uncovers his head it would be very weird because this part of the world covering that is not only a culture they consider it a sunnah that's the reason even if the muslims when they don't cover the head in the normal times in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh at least while Salah they cover the head but recently in the last few years five or ten years you find many of the Muslims coming from Gulf countries and they want to show the people that they have knowledge and because it's not fard to cover the head in Salah now you find people reading Salah in the mosque without covering the head previously maybe 15-20 years back 99% of the people in the mosque always the head were covered with cap or with gathra, compulsory. Now you find at least 15-20% or maybe a little bit more because they have gone to Gulf country, they come back and they want to show the people that they have knowledge, so purposely they don't cover that while offering salah, which is not a good practice. If covering people consider covering a sunnah, even if you don't belong to that group, at least it's in the culture. So at least while offering salah, cover that. Why are you going out of the way? and praying salah without covering your head let me tell you it's not fard to cover your head 
The Prophet said only your aura should be covered and if you have two pieces of cloth, one piece of cloth should be over your shoulders and the other piece of cloth should cover your aura. This is the minimum requirement but natural according to many scholars covering that is Sunnah and even according to the Hanafi school of thought covering is a Sunnah and according to many Fukahas. So I believe that covering that is Sunnah and when offering Salah so it should be covered and even when offering Salah it is preferable that that should be covered. This is in reference to the gents I'm talking about. But natural for the woman covering that is Farad in front of the Namara and offering salah also but natural for the woman covering the head is the front.